Because that, this is the whole economy change. So this is one of the best things. And Rat is going to be working on new show. It's going to be on Wednesday at noon in February. Tell me about more of your show. Yeah, so, yes. so, brag about it. So, well, I'll brag about it a little bit. <laughs> seven, only seven years doing the same thing, right? Yeah, so it's not a new show. It's, yeah. a, it's a 2.0 version of the show. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> about, about seven years ago, six years ago, no, seven now, actually, next month it'll be seven. Yeah. I had an opportunity to start a radio show. Mm -hmm. Yep. They said a radio show, but then they pointed a camera at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So talking back, about change, huh? Back in the day, uh -huh. actually talk about change. Exactly. Yeah. Back in mm -hmm. the day, we the, if you wanted to do a podcast, you would go and buy airtime at mm -hmm. somebody who had the setup. Correct. And basic and a shout out to Orange County Talk Radio. Okay. But they basic they basically would you'd sit down, you mm -hmm. would get your guests, and you would basically be a one camera setup mm -hmm. and you would basically have do an interview, right? Mm -hmm. And people would try it, people would go. I had an opportunity, I had no intention at all mm -hmm. to actually do it for longer than like maybe two or three months. Yeah. Okay. And six years later, yeah. I basically got to the point where we intended for you so many people mm -hmm. of all walks of life, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, people that are involved in seniors, veterans, p politicians, candidates, uh, artists, authors, Chef. chefs, <laughs> Carlos was on, <laughs> okay, we need, to, we, need to, we need to actually get Gustavo on. Yes, stuff, yes. Stuff. So after about six mm -hmm. years, yeah. it became a little bit like, not stagnant to me, but it was repetitive. Mm -hmm. So I lost the focus of like, why are we really doing this? Mm -hmm. Although we were giving content that was very help helpful mm -hmm. and focusing on local news too as well, right? Because mm -hmm. in Orange County, there is no local channel. Yeah, We have no radio channel that's local. We have no TV channel no. that's local. So it became unintended, mm -hmm. a resource for people. And when we called it quits, or we thought we were gonna call it quits, mm -hmm. Basically, everybody's like, no, you can't ca cancel it, whatever. So <laughs> you cannot you, go. You cannot go. You even have a ceremony. I, we had we had a, a, a wrap up party. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh. On, on, on Zoom because it was the middle of COVID, right? <laughs> yeah. so we had a wrap up party and we had a lot of people show up. Mm -hmm. and I was there. Yeah, there were people. You were mm -hmm. there. There was people from Montana. We had people from different places. And it was really interesting to see the reaction. Mm -hmm. It was never an, a goal of mine. Like I was doing it really genuinely because it was interest and I was, I felt blessed that I could visit with people yeah. mm -hmm. and actually like you guys are doing here, like have a conversation. Yeah. I think the art of conversation is a almost a dead art and we need to revive it. Yeah. Yes, that's one of the things is we just talking. Yeah. Talking as a friend, getting the best part of our, out of you, out of Gustavo, so people can learn something new and how they make more money. Because right. th that's the whole point. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, we, 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 we have become a society that talks at one another mm -hmm. or sits down and talks only if we have an agenda or a to-do list, mm -hmm. right? And that was when we were all congregated in the same office. Mm -hmm. Now we're not even congregated in the same office. Mm -hmm. no. So now we are even, it's harder for us to even maintain that kind of connection. Mm -hmm. yep. So to champion conversation to champion doing it in an authentic uncurated putting yourself out there vulnerability wise mm -hmm. and sharing from yep. from your heart right without really an expectation like how is hey how is this returning my you know return on my investment of time you're giving of yourself mm -hmm. it's never a bad investment to give of yourself correct yeah, right exactly. so we are now looking at version 2.0 mm -hmm. you know, version 2.0 after doing the, the show for six years has to be an elevated level yes especially and this is High dimension. well and it just fits right into the conversation yeah. we were talking about in terms of people basically doing the same thing and thinking that, that the product can still be presented the same way mm -hmm. right so if we do the same thing today that we did for six years prior mm -hmm. everybody being on zoom and using that as a communication tools all the time we're going to look like 
FaceTime and Zoom. Exactly. Yeah. It's not going to look oh, like a show, know. right? I mean, you guys here did a great job. I mean, this is elevating the product. Right? Yes. Exactly. And so, Carlos mentioned, was it two, really 2014? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so 2014, we've been working on the El Triunfo building yeah. in San Ana. Mm -hmm. Different locations, mm -hmm. different, 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 suites. different suites in the building. We started off with his, with his office, remember from a business card, yep. yeah. right? Give me these colors and that space. I'm like, okay, fine. At least I give you the colors. You, at least you gave yeah. me the colors. It's true. He actually made my life easier on the colors. <laughs> he gave me the colors. Because there are some companies that don't even, they don't even have a logo. Right. No, you had a logo. Mm -hmm. You knew you wanted to move into a certain part of the building. You knew you, what mm -hmm. your, your business goals were. And you needed something that was going to support and aid you in achieving your business goals. Yes. But there are people that still coming in and say, wow, I love your building. I love the way, how you get everything together. Say, I have a professional friend who can make that thing happen. Well, and uh, your operation and how you operate your, your business, which is, again, different mm -hmm. yep. from everybody, right? That's the key point. You, we have to be different. Well, but your operation of your business is like your suit, like it's custom made to you. You mm -hmm. have shaped your business to how you want to conduct it. So the, the flow of your business as a business consultancy, okay, there's certain things that are privacy of information. Yeah. There's certain things of basically interaction points between customer and service provider. Mm -hmm. And you need it to be done in such a way that genuinely there was no liability, like it limited the liability, it reduced the risk, it gave the impression to the customer genuinely that they were in safe hands yep mm -hmm. that that you could handle this business of theirs in a way so that that way uh, is what we were able to achieve yeah if you want something like that changing your business you can call rat that's yeah. the best part so so we have grown other things into the building yep we have a space for uh, client appreciation that's yep. in the courtyard, which was, not, which was not really being used. Mm. We have a space where we are... During COVID, it was used. Absolutely. All the time. Because, because it was an outside space. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. It used to be just dead plants exactly. that weren't really being watered, and we basically repurposed it, right? Which, again, translates to bottom line. Now it's a leasable space. It's a rent event space. Yep. Uh, we have space in for learning classroom space. You're correct. And what was the last thing we are basically been doing? We've been doing everything in so many changes. Now the studio. So now we have. We now, so we, we decided to do a studio this in facility. the building, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Which where we are. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to actually provide this because again, if you are a business and you need to develop digital content, mm -hmm. it has to be done in a manner and to a caliber that projects the best face of your business. If it's going to be just on your phone or you know what have you, that's going to get you only so far. Yep. But if you genuinely want to build your business, you need to have access to facilities and products and consultants that can aid you to mm -hmm. get there. Yep. We all need the help. Nobody's going to do it on their own. Exactly. So we can do the whole presentation and see how we can increase your profit, increase the look of your business, mm -hmm. and of course, paying less tax as possible because all this stuff is deductible. At the end of the day, it's a business expense. Yep. And, and the one thing you want to avoid is you can't be looking like everybody else. Never. And if a consultant that you're working with is trying to make you fit into a cookie cutter package, oh, no, no, then no, no. the money you're spending is being wasted or at the very best you're not getting the full impact of what you deserve to get for the money that you're spending that Perfect. is correct and we can see if you need a setup and, and a consultation with rad we are more than happy just please send us a message or you can call the office and say i want a consultation with him yeah. he can go to your business and transform it many of our clients already went through the, your full services and they change the mentality and they change how they run their business it's totally up to you now. And it's, and it's never it's never bad to talk, like we said. So yeah. it doesn't cost you anything to pick up the phone and call us. If, it, if we feel that we are able to help <clears throat> you and can be of service, we are more than happy to proceed. If we are not the right fit, at the very least, mm -hmm. we may be able to point you in the direction where you can find the help that you need. Yeah, yeah and that can be an office, it sure. can be a retail, it can be a restaurant. Can be a, even a virtual business. We have, we have currently we have we have an assisted living facility that we are doing. So if you're boarding care, if you're assisted living, mm -hmm. senior business is a big business now, and mm -hmm. it's basically recession proof. Yeah. Right, and it's only going to grow. 
we're, you know, the, the, the age population projections are amazing and mm -hmm. the demands are there, the, the supply is not. So that that's correct. one we're doing. We have a medical spa in Beverly Hills that we are doing. Yep. We have a project that is an attic conversion in, in uh, Point Loma down in San Diego that we are doing. We have a restaurant, a cafe, a pharmacy that we're doing currently. Yep. And we're doing an Airbnb conversion down in Dana Point for two condos. So it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you are hiring consultants mm -hmm. to give you something that impacts your physical environment, you should be getting more than just an aesthetically pleasing space. It has to be a tool in your arsenal as a business so you can basically use it to further your business. Yeah, you just <laughs> mentioned it. It is so important. What, uh, what Rad just told us, take this into consideration because in the long run, especially if you're planning to go in your business, you know, the long run, you need to take all this information down and use it to your advantage so you can create more profit and you can help more families. And I'll, I'll add one last thing, yeah. guys, too, is the environment has to be flexible. Yeah. It yeah. has to be adjustable. Regardless of how well it is today, if it doesn't have the malleability for you to be able to manip manipulate it and adjust it, mm -hmm. then shape it as you get feedback from your customers, as things change, you are getting a product that is not as best as it could be. Yep. Yeah. And therefore, your dollars are being spent you're getting a quality product, but it, could it be more? The only way you find out is if you talk to people that are gonna think that way and tell you, we can build this thing, in three years from now, we can adjust it like this if exactly. need be, or if you, the products are the, the, on your shelf or your services that people are asking for changes. I mean, think about spaces that, that did not have enough room to adjust to the hygiene requirements of COVID. Wow, right? that's it. That, the so business is gone. Right. Yeah. Then, then now you're basically struggling, and or, or or ones that did not have the we a lot of restaurants did not have delivery mm -hmm. for their own food, right? Yep. Over the course of the last two years, the smart ones have actually gone away from just ha depending on DoorDash and and Uber Eats, mm -hmm. and have basically now established their own one or two little electric cars mm -hmm. with a couple of people mm -hmm. that during COVID may have not been working in the restaurant because there's nobody serving mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. That are now driving around delivering the food. What does that mean? That means that you are projecting your own face versus DoorDash and Uber Eats to mm -hmm. the customer at their location. You're also providing a service that's more uh, customer friendly directly from your business. Mm -hmm. You're also now expanding your ability to deliver, right? Exactly, because that's the point. And so, people, the so now week, people yeah. are seeing you more. Their benef you're going to them, meeting them in their hybrid mm -hmm. life, right? And you are now basically charging probably a little bit extra. And if your competitor is not doing that, guess what? You're the convenience yeah. that the person is looking at. Oh, now, your food has You're to be winning. good quality food, exactly. right? Your drinks have to be not watered, <laughs> right? And, and I mean, drinks. Before COVID, you're going to order a drink to be delivered to you with your food to the house? Illegal. Never, never <laughs> illegal, right? Yeah. Yeah, but now is, that, is that ever going to change illegal. now with the much of money margins that are in alcohol? <laughs> no. Probably not. So again, a person who's thinking ahead and can put these pieces together and see how it could go, mm -hmm. right? You cannot do, none of us can do it on, on our own, but to have a right team that is so inclined in their thinking to be able to get you there, you're in great hands and your money is well spent. Thank you, awesome. Raz. You see, there is so much thing you can learn from him. You, you're gonna spend so much valuable hours talking to him. They're gonna increase the profitability of your business and yep. the return on investment. Working with him and his company and associates is gonna be amazing. Raz, I really appreciate your friendship you. and you, your support Likewise. throughout these years. Likewise. Yeah. Hey, you Definitely. need to come again. You yes. know, there's so many ideas that you can share, for example, for restauranteurs. We had a plenty of uh, people watching us right yeah. now who are in the food industry. Yeah. They, need, they need to, to receive new ideas. To, yeah. You know? Fresh yeah. idea and cool Fresh ideas. ideas. Yeah, I would, I, would love to, I would love to do that because mm -hmm. a lot of things are changing and a lot of things are changing that you may not be aware of because you are still dealing with the mm -hmm. change of dealing with COVID. And you know your focus is like, I need to make sure my doors are open today. Yeah. yeah. But but you need to be aware of certain things, even if down the road you apply them, because things are changing very fast. And not one industry has not been changed. Yep. So so it's no longer going back to the old normal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not even a new normal. Yeah. It's yeah. what is the next normal. Yeah, <laughs> so many things are coming we along, to so yeah. we have to be prepared. So he's going to do a presentation with real samples and future ideas. So 
When are you coming back? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm at your disposal. Oh, I, would thank I you. love the idea of sharing that. What mm -hmm. I would be really helpful, I think, for us is if you have any interest, if you are in a particular industry, if you're having certain challenges with certain things, reach out to the show, yep. give them some input, mm -hmm. help us focus the presentation to what would be genuinely valuable for you. And I'm more than happy to do that. Le agradecemos por habernos acompañado una vez más. El Triunfo Corporation le ha traído este programa educativo, El Triunfo Financiero, con Carlos Guamán y Gustavo Vargas e invitados. Le esperamos la próxima semana para seguir aprendiendo más sobre el mundo de las finanzas. Síganos en nuestras redes sociales, envíenos sus comentarios y recuerde suscribirse a nuestro canal. Llame a nuestras oficinas al 714-953-2707. Visite nuestro sitio web, eltriunfo.com. Come